Good evening, everybody. <laughs> what a day! What a day! I wonder where Mike got his meltdown moment from. I really can't begin to tell. <laughs> Good evening, who's Mark. Ring who's ringing you at this time? <laughs> um, my mother. <laughs> She knows what to do, but she's ringing anyway. Um, yeah, sorry, everybody. Running late. Um, everything, Mark was always going to be a touch late anyway, but I wasn't going to be. Um, and then Apple decided to do an update on me, and I had to wait while it just finished. And then you get, of course, screens everywhere. VC, WhatsApp, iMovie. Everything comes up and has to be closed down. Hopefully, the, call my word, my levels look very high. Turn that down a little bit. Hopefully, the sound is all okay. Say something, Mark? <laughs> no, I hope it's not echoing, because if it's echoing, Mark, I think Mark might just lose his shit. To be fair. <laughs> oh, thumbs down. <laughs> if you're looking for a reaction tonight, thumbs down, you might well get one. <laughs> So, good evening, everyone. Let's start with a few good evenings. It's not smoke. Uh, what's up? Mark is running late. Yeah, I've never been. That is the... F oh, well, I might have been a couple of minutes late before, but I've never been that late. So, good evening. Good evening, Laurie. Um, Mark H. Good evening. Sponge Matt. French Pants. Good evening. Stuart Rasper. Yeah, TVP. Yeah, won't be long. Thanks, Mark. No worries. <laughs> um... What's that? Cyclic Scooby, Flyer, um, Neil Roberts, good evening, Simon, good evening, um, <laughs> my house phone's ringing there. <laughs> oh, God. If, and if it is a problem, because obviously my mother isn't very well at times, I may well have to go, but let's, Tina will answer that, so we'll find out. All right, mate. Um, Adrian, good evening. Pav, Rufus, Gary, uh, uh, Coil UK, Lynn Smith, Simon, have I missed anyone? Shane, oh, a lot of the people are just repeats having a chat within chat. Um, <laughs> so you'll scoot, I think Nature Vape is sat strumming his fingers on the desk waiting for Mark to. <laughs> right, no, that wasn't the case. <laughs> Wasn't I was. My fault this time. It, no, it wasn't. Wasn't your. You were always going to be a touch late, though, weren't you, Mark? I was but, always going to be. You know, yeah, four or five minutes late. Yeah, always going to be a touch late. Uh, Apple. Uh, yeah, thanks, Mark. You put that in there. Um, Laurie. Okay, can someone else talk to us as they clearly? Oh, Laurie, you're kind of right. That last couple of weeks, you're getting the right, <laughs> right, tetchy. She got a cough on again, Laurie. Yeah, I mean, not even started speaking. <laughs> She's fine, I'm sure. Hmm. Yeah, Gareth, uh, the internet in Norfolk, carrier pigeons. At least you knew with a carrier pigeon it was going to get there. Either either, or there'd be a corpse. There'd be something, wouldn't there, Mark? Something would turn up. There would be, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Tim Baker. Uh, Laurie again. <sighs> Laurie, there's no Apple update. Yes, there was. I'm sorry, but there really was. <laughs> See, now she's calling us a liar, Mark. Um, no, I don't think it was. I think you, Mark, she's calling you a liar. I'll call me a liar. Okay, let's put, put Rob's... Um, yeah, Rob's show is every, every Tuesday at 7 to 8.30. I didn't actually know that, you know. I know you're on there tonight, so we'll have a chat about that in a minute, Mark. Yes. Um, Shane Kieran, hello, Gareth. No one said that we're. I haven't even got down that far yet. Are they scrolling down, Mark? Has anyone said we're quiet or anything yet? No, they said the audio is absolutely pucker this week, Mark. Excellent. I think I know what that was as well. Uh, I'll tell you about that in a minute. It's <laughs> always something, though, isn't it? Dion, there is. Have. Nick Bailey, Adrian. I think I said Adrian. Dale. Uh, I think that's gone through most, hasn't it? Dal, Miss Dal, Robert Thompson, Tim, did I say Tim? I definitely said Kieran. Boudian, didn't say Boudian. Or Christian P, Corgath, J. Jerry, 
How many thumbs down do you want tonight, Mike? You got five so far. Uh, I'm normally looking at about ten to fifteen, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Does that vary on whose show you go on? It's about, you... an, it's about an average for a nerd to virtual with two EP on. <laughs> to be ten to fifteen. Mm. Uh, John Best, can't wait for the true pro tank. I've turned full mouth to lung only. Jolly good. I'll give you a bit of news on that as well. David, J. Jerry, Dean, Devil Vapor, Evening Dean, Roy's, um, Roy's Reviews, where else we have Mark H said Mark H. I think that's it. And for the, for the one and only time tonight, I've caught up with chat, Mark. Wow. <laughs> That'll be it. <laughs> Do I look stressed? Oh, I feel stressed. I really do. I felt pretty much that way anyway uh, last few days. And I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it. Nothing's really changed, but the slightest things are irritating me and making me overreact. Do you ever get yeah, like that? I think we get like that from time to time as men, don't we? We get that irritable, um, you know, couple of days. Do we? We do, yeah. <laughs> but we're allowed it, aren't we? Mm. Women are allowed it. Like, why? Why can't your partner? It's like Becca. She'll have an irritable couple of days. It's absolutely fine. But when we do it, it's like, come on, why? Why are you so moody? Do you think I'm moody? I'm just off. Do you think that's MMT for us then? A bit of male yeah. menstrual tension. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Laurie, I've just put your chat on the screen as well. As <laughs> so, I must acknowledge Laurie tonight. I'll be in major trouble. Uh, it's COVID, Mark. Oh, thanks, Laurie. No, I'm sure it's not. It's not that. Um, definitely not. I actually bought one of those um, pulse things to go on your finger, Mark, just so that I would have an indication, perhaps, if my oxygen levels were low or anything like that. Just mm. thought, it's no ill store, is it? About tenner, I think it was. Yeah, I think so, yeah. A useful bit of kit, I thought, to have. So, Plus, Mark, listen, you're not getting any younger now, you know what I mean? You, you, you're getting into that stage in life where you've got to start looking after yourself a little more. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Somebody had to say it, Mark. As your friend, I think I should just point that out. I'm not sure if this red <laughs> face is due to being out in the sun today or it's blood pressure. It's one or the other, and I haven't worked out what it is yet. So while I'm relaxing, Mark, why don't you tell everyone what you're vaping on? <laughs> uh, I've only got a couple of things tonight, guys. Uh, same thing as I was vaping earlier. So I'm on the new um, Smock Scar 18 kit, which is very, very good, but very, very Aegis X, uh, with the new TFE 9 on top. I said this on Rob's, why the TFE 9? Isn't there like a TFE 16 now? And they've just gone to the TFE 9, which is uh, very, very odd. But re really nice combo, I've got to say. Really, really enjoying it. The vape on this is uh, fantastic. The mod feels really nice. So no issues with it up to now. Quite a loud tank, though. Did you hear that? It is quite loud, yeah. Yeah, it is loud. I think that's the thing with all uh, smoke tanks, though. They are quite loud. Plus, I've got the airflow shot halfway. So, yeah, I'm on that, which is very, very good. Also on the smoke uh, RPM 160 which I'm still really enjoying. This is the dual battery all-in-one, Mark. Oh, uh, right. It, yeah, really, really good. This is, I said this earlier, this is like my go-to thing at the moment. If I'm going out, uh, this is what I always seem to pick up. Just really, really good. The coils are good. The flavour's fantastic. Nice and compact. So uh, still vaping on that. And finally, I've got my independent mods with the Ragnar from Steam Crave on top of there with some Just Jamming. Got to have a big boy on the go as well, aren't you, Mark? You know what I mean? <laughs> Wow. Can't be all sub arming and pod vaping. Uh, so I've got that inside. <clears throat> I've got the black from Kernel, which is still my go to black currant flavour. Also, I've got a little Desperado on the go, a little cheeky Desi. I was just reading a comment there. <laughs> Johnny Boyhead was just reading his comment. <laughs> It's quite a long one, and I'm a slow reader. Uh, so Laurie said, why does the other Mark only vape on gigantic mods? Well, I don't. And she said, I don't know your surname, but I really enjoy listening to you. Thank you, Laurie. My surname is Roberts. I'm called Mark Roberts. I'm just call me TVP, though. So Laurie has now had an acknowledgement from both of us tonight. So she's See? got to be happy. Laurie, you cannot complain tonight. You really cannot. There can't be a complaint now. And, and a thing on the screen. 
So what am I vaping? Well, I'm not vaping on much different, to be honest, tonight. Well, one thing different. I'm still on the uh, uh, the little dot mod with a dot shell inside. That's that's pretty much just such a an easy setup. They are in mm. stock as well now. These uh, the dot shells. Um, it's just it's quite foolproof, Mark. You don't, <clears> you don't get leaks. You don't get dramas from it. You can like. Sling it on the seat of the car virtually when you go anywhere, and nothing that's happens. all you want from a vape, isn't it? That's all yeah. you want from a little yeah. compact vape like that. And filling it, piece of cake, side off, open the little flappy bit, and pour your juice in. That's dark in there, isn't it? Uh, in there, I've got the that looks very dark, and it's not that dark when it goes in. Why's that gone dark? Oh well, black currant raspberry and lime. If there was a pub locally, folks, I think I would be in it right now. <laughs> I'll just say that. <laughs> I don't often get like that. I'll be fine. I'll, I'll, I'll get better as the night goes on. Come on, um, Mark. We can do this, Mark. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be here. <laughs> um, right, what else am I on? The, the, do you pronounce it Hussar or Hussar, Mark? I pronounce it Hussar. I do, Hussar. Um, the RTA 1.5. I did a review. That's on the little um, woodpecker mech mod. Uh, I think it looks quite quite nice on there. You got one? Mm. I have got one, yeah. Is yours a pucker one? Not beef. <sighs> Not I'm not made of money like you, Mark. No, it's um, it's the SSK. What's the um? I mean, mine is the. I was actually sent this. And I'll, I'll mention it on the show as well. Did a review on this on Saturday. I sent this by from Steve at SR Vapes. He sent it over to me. He said I think thought you'd enjoy it. And I think to be honest, he was hoping that I'd review it. So from that point of view, that worked, didn't it? So I did. Yeah. Um. But he's right, I am enjoying it. I think the flavour from it is superb. Have you tried yours, Mark? I have tried it. I watched your review yesterday. Was it yesterday you put it up? Saturday or Sunday? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yesterday or the day before. Are I you were the one. Um, I did. I did actually sat through the whole thing as well. But, uh... You were the one who watched it. Crikey. <laughs> do you know what? I like it. I do like it. I don't think it's... I don't think it's one of the best out there, but it's it's a good tank. It's You know, the earth options are not bad. Um... Yeah, I don't, it's, it's a nice looker as well. I've got to say, it's a sexy looking tank, but mm. not one of the best, but you know, decent. I'm finding the flavour very, very good. Although mm. I have got two, um, and the stainless steel one, the airflow ring is quite loose. Um, I'm yeah, it's to... loose. It's loose on the black one as well. Is it? But it's mm. it's nice and tight on the on the painted finished one, um, and that sort of only comes to light after you've sort of tried it and used it for a bit but i'm not even finding i've got to shut the juice flow down of mine to fill it anymore just pull the top off dunk the juice in put the cap on so from that point of view it's all right i yeah. find that with a lot of tanks that have juice flow control once once it's broken in and you've got yeah. a couple of tanks through it i don't even know like the steam crayers i don't even do, do or do I turn off the juice flow control just pop the top off fill it up no issues yeah um one or two people, I think someone else put that as well, that, uh, that they enjoyed the review. So thanks for that. Um, it all, it, you'll probably vouch for this, Mark. Making a review does take time. I mean, if mm. anyone thinks I just do it for my products to make money, well, here's an instance where I didn't. There was my Saturday afternoon completely gone doing this review. Not for me, because I don't sell them. <laughs> so it was just because I wanted to do it. And... Even if people think that oh, wasn't the best review, Mark, you know, at least it's it's feedback, and you know, even it's nice to be nice to be appreciated sometimes. You don't want to be the best. It's not about being the best, is it? It's about just being yourself, putting your review out, and that's that. If people don't like it, screw them. <laughs> yeah, well, it was, it was John Best as well who said, "I'll put both comments on the on the screen." Cracking review. So glad people enjoyed it. What's booty input? Mark, it starts off as irritable bowel, then it infects the rest of the body. It's an age thing. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I don't think I've got irritable bowel. I think I'm all right there. <laughs> got irritable bowel, Mark? 
Or is yours just damn right angry? <laughs> mine's, just, mine's just permanently angry with me for some reason. <laughs> uh, okay. uh, Johnny Boy is hypertension with some alcohol. I'm on <laughs> summer fruits. <laughs> no Maybe alcohol. you need a pint, Mark. That's what you need, a pint. Just a nice pint, chill out. Yeah. You know. Iggy, Jay, where'd he be? Where's Jay? Jay's having a little break for a few weeks. He will be back. Uh, there's no drama or anything like that. We haven't fallen out. There's no issues. He'll probably be in chat in a little while, just saying hello. So there's no, there's no problem there. Um, I am the poor man's Jay for a couple of weeks. All right? Deal with it. Is <laughs> this <laughs> I'm the poor man's Jay for yeah. a couple of weeks, so they have to deal with it. So you know what I mean? Mark has kindly... Agreed to fill in for a, for a couple of weeks until Jay is back. Uh, Laurie says she appreciates you, Mark. She appreciates you. Oh, bless me. See, I've won a round, Mark. I've won a round. Didn't take much, Mark, to be fair, did it? <laughs> no, a little shout out, a little, little uh, bit of text on screen. She's a little bit of Laurie fun. love. <laughs> <laughs> so you're on Rob's show tonight. How did that go, I was. Mark? Uh, really, really good. Um, me and Rob, we get on really, really well. He's he's probably you know one of the nicest, um, one of the nicest guys in vaping, in my opinion. Just just a stand up, solid, really, really nice uh, fella. So yeah, it was good. We had some good fun. Yeah, excellent. So um, you, you showed off all the things you're vaping on just now on, on that show, I guess. So so Smock, do they do they send you stuff now then? They do. There was so the smock are weird. So they don't smock don't contact you. What they do, they have a website, a reviewers website, where you can go on. Uh, all the new products are there, and you can um, click on one and request to review it. If they accept you, they'll send it out, which is what they do. So there's no there's no face to face contact. If that makes sense, oh, right. email back and forth. It's literally you go on the site, they either accept you or they don't. Then once the review's up, put the link to review, click done. And that's it. You can uh, you can go for so for another product. So yeah, um, I did get a big box this week, which funnily enough I didn't apply for. I only applied for the RPM two, but they sent the Scar at eighteen, the Scar, the P five, the P three, and the RPM two, which was quite odd because I didn't apply for them, but they sent it anyway. They do, I've never asked Smock for any products for review, but now and again, uh, here now, now and again they just randomly send me a box of stuff and you know just a like i think i got the fetch and i got the what was that big mod like the trigger thing oh the mag yeah yeah p3 yeah well i'll send you the link to the site mark all you have to do is fill in your details your youtube channel and your socials and that and then they accept that and then you literally mm. just there's a big list you go down it uh, anything new just click on it and, and they'll send it out to your registered address. Really, really simple. There's, there's not, I mean, I, I do quite like, so I've I'm, I'm got more smock love than a lot of people have got, to be honest. Mm. Um, I think their products in general are pretty well made. I don't think they're, they're that far off the mark at all. You know, people rib them and stuff, but there's not really, they're not products that sort of particularly float my boat, I have to say. Well, they're not ripping up any trees, are they? I said this earlier. They're not. They're not a company that will rip up trees and and you know gobsmack you with the products. They're, they're they're quite a copycat company. And I've said this before. What Smock will do is, so like they'll they'll see like a boo boo mod, uh, pod mod selling really really well. They'll go right. We need to make one of them, and they won't really change much. It'll look pretty much the same. It'll perform mm. pretty much the same, but with a Smock name on. And I think that's where Smock of that's their bread and butter. You know what I mean? They'll look at what's selling, what's hot, what's popular. And they'll they'll pretty much copy it. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't really like saying that because a company as big as Smock should, especially with they proved, and I said this again, they proved they can manufacture some really good stuff, you know what I mean? Um I think if they've got maybe a new design team or something like that, they could pretty much take over the vaping world, in my opinion. Because mm. you know, they've got all the money there, all the tools there to to pretty much do whatever they want, but they they just insist on copying everyone else, which is a shame. They know. I mean, they they know how to make a product, don't they? I mean, the quality oh, yeah. they is do, yeah. very. They make the odd mistake. Like the, I'm trying to think of problems that they've had. Some mod problems, haven't they? But, I remember when Smock were really small, Mark, and you will as well back in the day. And the the Smock used to make some of the best 
rebuildable tank atomizers money could buy. Yeah. Uh, back in the day, they mm. made two or three really, really good RTAs. Well, we I bought for the site. In fact, we still sell them. Um, I bought so many. Um, do you remember the Smock Arrow Two? Yes. The the little tiny it took the little pro coils that we do, um, and it's like um, cartomizer, not cartomizer. Is it a bit like the the Kanga Pro? What am I trying to think of? <laughs> You're not helping with that face, Mark. <laughs> The only Kanga Pro I can think is the Pro Tank. No, it, was it the Pro Tank? The the one that the Ego thread is what I'm trying to say, rather than the five ten yeah, yeah, thread. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, and it took the little Pro coil and mm. the Smock Arrow Two. They did a a contactless like Ego battery that you charge it just on a magnet, just clicked on a magnetic charger. And we still sell them now, and they're, they're still fine. And I got zero issues with that product at all. Zero. This, this is what this is what I want to I want to see Smock do something. Di- come out with some more RTAs again, you know. Come out with some RDAs. Do something different um, instead of just copying people and, and coming out with the same shit. Because, like I say, and I'll say it till I'm blue in the face, they've got all the tools there to do whatever they want, and they're used to make literally some of the best RTAs on the market and they were cheap they did and it worked yeah. and they were fantastic so maybe you know I'm not saying be an RTA company or a rebuildable company come out with the odd RTA mm. I think it'd be fantastic I, I think I'd love it if they did that because yeah. they, they've they all gone down <clears> the same sort of route and they sub own tanks and pods and talking of which <laughs> I couldn't even bring myself to watch it. Rip Trippers is back. <laughs> yeah, I saw Rob said earlier. I think it's only been, what's it been, four or five weeks? No, if, if that, a big video. I, I mean, <laughs> I, I just saw the thumbnail. I thought, you attention seeking twat. That's <laughs> what I thought. But what, what he's done has worked, hasn't it? He's, he's made this big announcement on not reviewing anymore this is why the e-cig industry is on its knees it's pod 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 it's this that and the other he roped in other reviewers to get reactions from them and that worked followed by i'm back <laughs> so, well i said this earlier mark i don't really have much issue with it i really really don't the only the only issue i've ever took a uh, hindrance with an umbrance with is the fact he calls himself a reviewer and he, because that, he stopped being that years and years ago. He's not a reviewer. Other than that, I have no issue with him. He's a promoter. You know, he makes his money. I couldn't give a shit. If you don't like him, don't watch him. <clears throat> he is a promoter, but I loved his early videos with his oh. coils and his things like that. And I just thought... He used, that... he used to invent some of the best coils. Like, yeah. just tell you to show you how to wick them like proper in-depth shit. Amazing. Mm. What was that coil he did? The... Um... Looked like, and you remember the old cookers? It looked like a cooker. Stove top coil. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. I remember watching that and thinking, oh, that's interesting. You know, that's, that's, but, you know, I was like, in those days, you're like, you're like a sponge, aren't you? You're taking all that information in, and that's what you want, isn't it? Now it's just probably the best pod. <laughs> it's just marketing. Well, we said, it, we said earlier, Mark, if he's making five to ten thousand pounds, dollars per video and i and i likened it to this so if you're in the office and your boss comes in and said right tie you put your tie around your head and dance on your desk like a monkey for two minutes i'll give you five thousand dollars dude i'd already be on the desk dancing like a monkey of course you'd do it wouldn't you like if i think your first it, question would be do, do i keep my pants on or do i take them off <laughs> exactly yeah you want to, you want to get news <laughs> <laughs> if, if somebody's if somebody's wafting that kind of money in front of your face, of course you're going to take it as a human being. <clears throat> he's, you know, he's got a family, he's got a young family, he's got kids. Come on, give the guy. I just say, give the guy a break. Let him be what he is, a promoter who makes a lot of money. If you don't like him, watch someone else. Rufus just put Rip as next week's guest. <laughs> <laughs> That would be funny. That would That's be. another thing he's done. He's, he's, I don't think he's ever done a, a live show which keeps that mystery about him, you know what I mean? It keeps that uh, that mystique about the, the character and the man. So you don't really know what he's like in real life, do you? None of us do. No, that's right enough. I mean, if you... All his... 
they're so heavily edited all his reviews oh. all of them um speeding up his vaping do you know what i mean it, it, it really heavily edited green screen behind him so he looks like he's somewhere else all this sort of stuff but um yeah be interesting so oh he did do one live didn't he sitting on a sofa didn't I he think do he might have done, i think he might have done one or two in, in yeah god knows how many years but i think that's basically it um I think I think one of the big issues was when he left was he threw quite a few reviews under the bus, which um... well Paul Sticky's just mentioned that I'll put his comment on the screen there for everyone to see. Yeah, he did throw quite. A... <clears throat> see, a lot of a lot of people have said he threw him under the bus. I just think he was being honest. Uh, I don't think he didn't really mention any names, did he? Did he? I don't think so. I, I mean, think... this is about being paid, isn't it? When yeah, I don't think he mentioned any names. So I just think. Listen, we all know reviewers are getting the big boys are getting paid a lot of money to do what they do. It's like it's not it's not a secret. So I've actually probably a good time to mention it. I've actually nearly fallen out with a manufacturer because I refused to send a man a product because yeah. I knew who's going to get paid. Uh. And I, I don't agree with it. That then ceases to become a review. Martin, mm. you can stand or sit there. Have I ever offered you a penny? No. Never. And no. you've reviewed plenty of stuff for me. I've never paid no. you. You've never asked. I've never offered. No. It's just the way it is. But, you know, there are there are a few that I know of. Um, and and I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Well, we, <clears> we, we spoke and we hit on this earlier about reviewers getting paid. Now, I don't feel like I used to do. It used to be an absolute no-no. I feel now, if you're honest, honest and upfront, and let's say a company said to you, here's, here's $100, we need this done. Uh, so you do the review, but at the start of the review, you say, look, they pay me $100 for this review. Uh, it is what it is. And then you say it's shit, right? You say it's absolute fucking garbage. The com- obviously, the company's not going to work with you again, which is absolutely fine, but I think so long as you're honest and upfront at the start, and say they've paid X amount of money for this review, whether it be a fast track, whether it be whatever, so long as you do the review in your own style, like you've always done, and be honest and upfront, is it a massive issue? I don't think so. I don't actually. That that is something that needs clarifying. I don't have a problem with a fast track. If mm. if someone gets paid hundred, two hundred quid, and that jumps yeah. the queue because that manufacturer wants that done for a release, I that one I haven't got a problem with. He's mm-hmm. paying. That's not advertising space. I I look at that. <clears throat> so that's that's not as bad. It's the outright. How much do you want to review this product? That's what I don't like. That, that's the one that gets me. Yeah, it's, it's not like a, so, so. Let's say there's a new I don't know a new handbag company or something like that. What's the best What's the best way to get their brand out there? TV advertising. You go on TV. Hmm. So I don't I don't see any different from going to somebody like Rick Trippers or a Mike Babes who's got almost half a million subscribers because that's your advertising that's eyeballs on your product whether good yeah. or bad feedback you know that's a hundred thousand eyeballs on your product so you have to pay to play in my opinion you have to pay for that product hmm. to, to have be seen by that many people yeah it's a tricky one though isn't it it's a tricky it, one. it's very very tricky it, and it's it's such um, yeah, it's such a, a, a beehive that's. You see, you've got you got some people will do a review for the love of reviewing, right? Mm. That, that's what they love, and they don't want any money. In fact, they've probably even bought the product that they're about to review. You know, the smaller ones. And I really believe that some of the some of those people, the smaller channels, actually do a better review than someone with loads more subs that is getting 10 products a, a week that he's sifting through and saying yeah i'll do this one open out the box turn the camera on and does his review you know that there's no names being mentioned here i'm just saying because the the little channel who's probably bought that product that's his one product so he's going to try it he's going to use it he's going to find out about it he wants that review to be as good as he can get it and i, I think that's very often they come out the most I mean, I, I watch a, a lot of reviews on products, and some of the smaller ones, I think, give a better account of that product. 
They, they do. They, I, no, I, I totally agree. But then that changes. That soon changes when they get a little bit bigger and a little bit more notoriety. And, you know, maybe money starts being mentioned and getting involved. Then a lot of people can <clears throat> turn and change. Um, and like... Um, Adrian said there in chat, I think payment isn't an issue until it becomes um, a payment to say positive things. Now, that's totally different. If a company approached you and said, right, I'm going to give you $500, but you've got to be totally positive about this, then, you know, fuck off. No, <laughs> you're obviously you're not going to do that, are you? Um, most people are not going to do that, I'd like to think. <clears throat> But it's all about it, it, whether whether or not you trust that reviewer. You've got to trust, and you've got to put the groundwork in and the legwork in for people to trust you. Like I said, if you're honest and upfront and said, right, they've paid me hundred dollars to do this review, I don't think you know ninety nine percent of my subscribers would have an issue with that. I really don't. Actually, Dal has put a, a, quite a relevant comment there as well. It depends if you trust the reviewer, and I, exactly. I think I think that makes more sense as well. Whether if you do trust that reviewer, it doesn't. If he gets paid or he doesn't get paid, it's a bit like, I mean, I think I touched on this last week, didn't I? Uh, Jay Hayes reviewed the Pandora. Um, no, it wasn't. Did he get paid? Yeah, he did get paid for that, didn't he? He did get paid. Uh, $600, I think he said. Um, <laughs> it was funny because it was the one that never had <laughs> juice flow holes. But... <laughs> Well, you couldn't make it up, could you, really? You no. really couldn't make that up. You th you'd have thought they'd have made sure that that package was right, but they didn't. So, but, it, you know, that came out in the review. It didn't get a better review. because, In fact, it got a worse one. So the payment there was irrelevant, really, wasn't it? The account of that product was still right. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. I, listen, my, my opinion is this. All right, let's say uh, I think you get to 20,000 subs, then you should be able, there should be, there should be uh, a platform there for you to make some money in reviews. I really, really do. Um, whether that's a company paying you to fast track it, you know, whether uh, what I'm doing now with juice reviews, I'll do a juice review, but I want a tenner per flavour, and that doesn't guarantee a good review, but that's just purely for my time. Um, I think there should be a platform for you to make a, a few quid. I absolutely do, because a lot of people say, well, in surely the mods you payment or the tanks you payment. No, no it's, it's worthless. That's not going into my bank account, is it? No. That's worthless to me. It doesn't mean it's doesn't. It's not worth a penny. Do you think? Uh, excuse me, Mister Halifax. Could I? Could I? Yeah. Can I? Can I pay my mortgage with these fucking mods? <laughs> you can't, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so I think they definitely should be a form for um, established reviewers to make a few quid mm. by doing what they do. I absolutely do because I think they put the they put the groundwork in, they put the legwork in. You trust that person uh, implicitly, so why not make a few quid? I suppose that's an incentive as well for the smaller ones to get bigger, yeah. isn't it? Really, and I mean Iggy has just put their reviewers should get paid by the moment they put the time in the time and effort in. So as the general opinion in chat is that a lot of people think. Probably reviews should be paid, full stop. Yeah, but it's, I think it's a bit hit and miss at the moment because people are saying, well, you know, if you, if you yeah. take money, then you're going to be biased, which is nonsense because I've took money in the past for, you know, fast tracks and absolutely slated the product. So you've got to trust yourself, number one. You have to trust yourself that money is not going to influence you, which, you know, I absolutely do. Uh, and then you've got to trust your subscribers and your viewers to mm. trust you as well. Um, so it's like a two-way thing. <sighs> Yeah, that's um, Be Be Becca. Becca Lumps. Probably, uh, problem is though, if you don't know they're being paid and think they're positive re 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 reviewers legit, it doesn't help those looking for honest advice. And that's a very good point, I think. Yeah, which is what I said. You have yeah. to be upfront at the start and say, right, I've been paid for this. I've been yeah. paid. Uh, whether it's a fast track, I've been paid a hundred dollars to fast track this. It's not going to influence my opinion at all. Let's mm. crack on. So yeah. they're not right at the start of the video, and they can make that decision then. Do I want to watch this? Do I not want to watch this? Well, I'm hoping, you know, 99% of my subscribers will go, yeah, of course I want to watch it. He's not going to... But you just never, you never know with people. That, that That's the sad thing. You never know with some people, like, mm. whether, when, how money can influence them. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. And... I, I just probably the the outcome of this is whatever you're thinking of buying, don't just watch one review. 
What what's three or four getting no, over I, all I think a lot of a lot of uh, experienced vapors now don't watch a review for the review. They, they watch the review to see the product up close. They want to see the deck up close. They want to see the machining quality up close. Then they'll make their own opinion on that. They don't really care about your opinion. They really yeah. don't because yeah. a lot of established vapors they pretty much like us. They know what they like. You know, yeah. they don't care about their opinion. They just want to see that product up close and in HD, and that's I've always said that. <clears throat> Laurie and I are now friends. Clearly, I, I don't trust the ones who make huge noise and crap at the start. I like Mark Major. <laughs> that's the best I trust him. Bless your heart, Laurie. <laughs> she also said there, how can we know who is being paid to lie to us? Well, again, that you've got to trust your own judgment. You have to trust yourself and your gut instincts. Um, if you've been watching someone for four or five years and you see a change in them, you see a change in the way they review, you see a change in the way they form opinions, then, of course, you have to look at that and go, well, maybe they're being uh, slightly influenced by money. But if you look at someone and, and you've been following them four or five years and nothing's changed, then mm. it's, it, you've got to trust yourself and trust your own instincts. Um, Mr. Karja, how much of vape reviews are just paid are just paid adverts now? You can't trust half of the big boy big guys, if not more. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know about that. I'd, I'd like to think most are still pretty conscientious in in this industry for reviews, but the the advertising though just dropping on that the youtube advertising has been cut and cut and cut hasn't it i mean my channel isn't monetized i never have monetized it because i think my opinion always was i wanted to do reviews to show people how to use a product they'd bought from the site so i didn't want no, that yeah, adverts across it absolutely yeah but i i got to a point where i think i got to about 10 12 thousand subscribers then i started thinking you know you know, I was getting like 1900 to 120 pound a month from ad revenue. I'm thinking, you know, I can make a few quid at this. Like, why not? Mm. Uh, whether it be on ads, whether it be on super chats, whether it be on uh, Patreon, I don't know. You know, if you can make a few quid at doing a hobby. You yeah. ask anybody, right? If you could do a hobby and make some money at the same time, no one's going to say no. <laughs> no, well, that's. Uh, that's a well, what they call it. The mo that's a side hustle, as they call that's it. Now, a little it? side hustle, yeah. Why yeah. not? No one's going to say no. And if you do say no, you're a bit of a fool, in yeah. my opinion, because it, it, if you can make a few extra quid by doing something you really enjoy and something you love to mm. do, then why not? See, in other industries, it's easier. I mean, I, I might have touched on this before. I I follow the the stock market and that, but when there are uh, when there's a review or not a review, like a, a a show or a, a chat from a from a guy who's not an, a, an investment guru and he'll say join trading 212 you'll get a free share and so will i that's their side they, they can get that as a referral that's their side hustle but what in the e-cig industry we don't have a referral i suppose there was I think Vic did it for a little while, didn't it? Was it with Gearbest or Amazon? Or yeah, something? I've been off. So I've been offered to do uh, a rolling ad at the start of videos, and they'll say, "Right, uh, for ten videos, we'll give you a thousand dollars, so a hundred dollars per video." You've got to run this ad. It's like I don't know, one minute, twenty seconds long, in front of every single video, and that seems to be uh, because the YouTube ads are dying. That seems to be a route that a lot of YouTubers are taking. They'll run a pre-roll, a pre-rolled ad before the videos and get X amount of money, which Oh, could I do that? I don't think so. And is that all? I mean, I've noticed as well that whatever I am interested in, that advert at the start of the video is always something I'm interested in. That's because you fall listening to you, Mark. See? I'd say I'm sick of seeing sheep, though, Mark. <laughs> if... <laughs> A blow no. doll, so you sick of it, Mark, yeah. <laughs> Oh dear! No, but you know what I mean. It is. It's. It's. It's all this. I think that's what all this thing with Facebook is about at the minute, isn't it? That they're having to answer to is this, like trailing you. I think. I think it is because, spooky, isn't it? You you start looking at watches, and all of a sudden, everything you see is about watches. Well, me, me and Becky, we do little experiments, or so we'll Google summit or or talk about summit, and you go on Facebook, boom, fucking advert there for that. What you've just been speaking about, you're like, wow, this is. This is not right, man. I know what you're buying me for Christmas. <laughs> it comes up on my Facebook. 
Yeah, it says it's not nice in a way, is it? It's no, there's no, nothing secret anymore, is it? Nothing. Uh, what's Scott Lee put? I've been vaping for 11 years. Never bought a product because of a review. As TVP said, I watched to see it up close. Hmm. Uh, yeah, ha, ha, well, you say that, Scott. Have you been influenced to buy a product? You must have been influenced in some way. I think, I, th- I think, like I said, that, like seasoned vapors. You know, I'm talking people who've been vaping four or five years, really seasoned, experienced vapors. The majority of them do do, do just want to see it. Of course, have they been, um, you know, have they been influenced in some way at some point? I think yes, but I think nine times out of ten, they just want to see it. Of course, form their own opinion. Uh, where, you know whether that's going to fit the vaping style and, and go go from there. But mm-hmm. I think uh, Becca Lumps also made another point about noobs. So how would a newbie know um, whether they're being influenced or not? Well, again, you, you've got to you've got to trust that review. You've got to trust that person you're watching. If you don't trust what you're watching, you don't trust what what you're hearing. Then you know, click off and go and watch another one. Don't ever don't ever just go off one review. Watch four, five, six, seven reviews. On a product and then make your own decision it's nice to see that dean's sense of humor has never waned has it never wears <laughs> it's always the same <laughs> right shall we shall we move off that now we, yeah. we've uh <laughs> that's, that's nice to have that you know hear other people's opinions as well though because it's easy to get perhaps the ump when when I think oh, why why should he get paid when so and so isn't getting paid you know and that has yeah, exactly and I I think like that man sometimes I look at people and go why the fuck's he getting paid and I'm not getting paid like come on mm. but yeah I think we've done that to death now if you can make a few quid make a few quid by all means but don't change uh, don't be influenced by money just be true to yourself and be transparent I think exactly I think, I think you're right about that be transparent so I've been paid to do this. Yeah, I think it'd be a lot better. We'd all know. Um, have you seen the? Only this only came to my attention the other day. Um, I've got an article on it somewhere. I'll probably blank me out here and put it on the screen. I'll read it out, Mark, because you you won't see it till here it is till later. <clears throat> is are you prepared? Germany updates nicotine free rules for twenty twenty one. Have you seen that? I haven't seen that, no. On the 2nd of June 2020, the German government voted for f- to further tighten the national rule rules that regulate electronic cigarette and vaping products, with the extra implications for short-fill, long-fill and zero milligram nicotine-free products. The changes to the Act largely see the rules for nicotine-free products becoming more in line with those for products which contain nicotine. From the start of next year, on 1st of January 2021, Ingredients such as, and I ain't going to say that word right, acetopropyl, or no, <laughs> diacetyl, and for, formaldehyde, <laughs> which are currently prohibited in nicotine containing products, will also be prohibited in nicotine free products. Nicotine free products that are intended for the use of electronic cigarettes and vape products will now have to go through the same Tobacco Products Directive, TPD registration process including emissions testing and products which contain nicotine. These rules applies to apply to any affected products which are on the German market by the 31st of December 2020. As with nicotine containing products, these will also have to include a what's that? Contraindications document, whatever's that, and be subject to a six month waiting period from initial submission to the product going on sale. Haven't we, haven't we already got that in the UK about the nasties that we were putting in nicotine juice? Yeah, but this is now um, what they're saying is this now applies to products without nicotine in them, short fills with no nicotine in them. Or... Yeah, but we that's what we that's what we've got now. So you can't have any you can't have any juice with like diacetyl in, like we used to have with the custards and stuff, even if there's no nicotine in. So I don't think this is new. I think this is. Well, I don't think this is new for us, but it may be new for Germany. Um, they, 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 they want the liquids like spotless, don't they? Really clean. Yeah, no, I, I think... I'm not sure. I didn't think we were as strict as that on the... 
zero. We are on the nicotine products, but I didn't. No, I'm know. almost. I, I'm almost sure that I saw this last year somewhere, or maybe even the year before, about diacetyl and stuff in zero milligram uh, e-liquids because that's why they stopped selling a lot of the custard concentrates and stuff, which were causing the diacetyl or putting them in the e-liquids, which were causing the diacetyl. Yeah. Um, so I don't, I, I don't know. But this this is now. Um, I think the other one was is like the sweeteners as well, isn't it? I think they're just tightening it right down in Germany. Yeah. And you know what will happen? It will come here. That may be uh, that may be um, an EU thing as well. Yeah. People saying in chat. <clears throat> Yeah, Laurie, diacetol has been a no-no for a long time. Yep. Was any, anyone knew? <laughs> Dean, oh shit, it's for non-nick products too. I agree with Tess. Yeah, I'm that's sure. why, Gareth says, that's why they made the Capella V2 custard without diacetol. Yeah. Tested, nothing yeah. like the V1. And that's why they had to change a lot of the recipes and stuff like that to get rid of these. Um, it, was, it, was, it was really ripe in like the custards, the creams, the desserts and things like that, weren't it? The diacetyl especially. Mm. Yeah. Which is not, I don't think it's a bad thing because let's face it, we're here not to be vaping or smoking. No, it's uh, not a bad thing. All, so all my... We want... Go on. Go on, man. I was going to say, all, all this range, I paid the extra which was quite a bit extra to put that all through testing, even though yeah. it's zero nick. And at the time, I didn't have to. Um, to be honest, I thought another one of these things, I thought, why am I doing this when the majority don't? But I thought, well, the reason I'm doing it is because <laughs> I want it proper. Want it as clean as can be. You as clean as can be. And, in there. Like Chrissy just said, that Germany has had really less strict TPD rules than us, and, and they've really got away with murder over the, mm. over the, the last two three years so they're just catching up now they're just catching up with what we've been doing for quite some time yeah um rick says is drake's up the swanee then no they're not rick no they're not up the swanee at all they've all their stuff is um tested as well all their stuff so they're all okay in fact i'll be honest it was uh dan from drake's that sent sent me a copy of that clip um, because he's he's sort of well up to see well he would be and he be far more up to speed with it than I am. I, I, I listen. I totally agree with it. I don't think there should be any nasties in any liquid. Uh, no, it, you know, no, they on in any any part of the world. Iggy, I'll tell you what. Let's all start smoking again. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Even though though diacetyl was proved like you could literally vape it from now until you were fucking three hundred and not have a single issue, but. There's always that chance, isn't there? There's always that, you know, you're vaping something that you really shouldn't be vaping. So I can kind of see why they're doing it, but it's not. It's really not as bad as people made out, especially at the time. Like, diacetyl is killing vapors. Get out of it. Yeah, yeah, no. It's, that, um, was linked to the, that was linked to the whole popcorn lung, weren't it? The popcorn lung. And, I mean, the, the only, I think I'm right in saying this, the only two people that ever died from popcorn lung worked in a popcorn factory. Where yeah, getting... and they worked in there for like fucking forty years. Or yeah, something, didn't they? come on, <laughs> with no with no mask. Like you're right over there, Georgia. I can't see you. <laughs> with you know, I mean, Tina used to work in a, a chocolate factory, and she was like, a, 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 "What a job she had, taster." She was a taster. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, she used to come up with the with the formulas and stuff. But um, she said that they oh, I forget what it was now, was it? Some kind of nuts, almonds, or something. But the the powder that mm. that used to be airborne, that powder. She said they were always complaining. Look, you know, it was against health and safety. And as soon as they knew health and safety were coming, they'd have a right good clean up. And <laughs> you know, it's yeah, like Paul Sticky said in chat, we don't need we don't need testing on zero juice. Well, I disagree. I absolutely disagree because I want to listen. And I don't want to fucking sound all I am, I am my or anything, but I want to know what I'm vaping is clean and free from nasties. Um, we all know diacetyl tastes amazing. It makes taste juice so much better. But I still started vaping to uh, to not die and be, be a lot safer than smoking. So if we can take these nasties out and still vape and still vape some that really nice flavours. Then why not? Why not? Don't give them. Don't give these people any more ammo to, to fire us in the face with if we don't need to. Swirling Monk, what a good comment. I agree with that entirely. 
put that on the screen. Uh, mm-hmm. People buying cheap, shitty wire is more an issue. Don't vape machine oil. Yeah. I've said this story before. I, I told you, Mark, when you've been on the show, that it was an OBS RTA, and I'd been testing the... It was the Creus. That's what it was. That's how long ago it was. Creus 2, I think. Um, I've been testing it and thought, you know, at the time, that was that was like a, a a real sort of radical move in the upwards direction, I think, that Creus 2. For what else we had on the market at the time, that was a real step up, I thought. But And I, I'd been vaping one for about a week, and I thought, right, I won't do the review now. So I've, I've got the one I'm vaping on. Let's open up a new one. And I put that on the table, and I did the unboxing, and I put a coil in it and I, know, I wicked it and I primed it and filled it and I vaped it and I carried on with the review. Actually, it'd be interesting to look back on that review because I've still got it on my channel. And when I finished the review, I sat there, I thought, I don't feel well. <laughs> and honestly, Mark, I, I only just made it to, I didn't know which end it was going to come off. I was violently sick and it was machine oil in that tank. And I'll tell you what, that's nasty. If if anyone's experienced it, it's nasty. You ever had it or not? Uh, not off machine oil, no. Um, but I have had some. I have had some nasty cars that I've pulled out of um, tanks in the past. You know, RCAs like back in the day, probably the Chris days, the Kang Sultan days. And you, you know, when you put it in your fingers and you can feel it greasy and oily, you think I'm not putting that in my fucking bed. No chance. Uh, but I've never actually been when I've been sick, no. It, it was like my whole body had rejected it. It, it just said, no, <laughs> this isn't yeah. what you're going to have. This um, is why I've always been worried of, like, um, you know, cheap Chinese-made coils, collapsing and stuff like that. I'd never vape for anything like that. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it's... Um, and, and, unless you've experienced that, and that's why... Everyone in chat, everyone listening, you probably know this already, a quite experienced bunch that we get on here, but just wash the thing. Before you use it, wash it. And there are still times when I don't because I think I'll unbox it. I still haven't learnt my mistake. But there are, I guess, some companies you trust more than others, but it's still advisable. What The first thing you do, you get it, you wash it. And see, I, see, I don't mean because... You should do right? No, especially... The, the only thing I wash, the only thing I do wash, like... Like religion is if I get an Ed Zachary, any any um, clone I get gets washed thoroughly. Um, but other than that, like if I get new Watofo products or something, I'm straight in there. I'm so I'm just terrible for it. The owners, you can. What was that I had? I had a. I had one tank the other, and I, I could not get that. I know what it was. It was, um, although we do the, the, the pucker ones, I had a clone of the tripod before I had the pucker ones in stock. And there was a taste in that, and I could not could not get rid of it. I stripped it, I washed it, everything. I still couldn't get rid of that taste. That's the thing with machine oils, especially in uh, counterfeits. It, once it gets into the deck and into the O-rings, you screw, you'll never get rid of that taste. You've got to, mm. you've got to strip it down, change all the O-rings, literally ultrasonic that shit, yeah. soak it, boil it all. You've got to, because it will not go up. Once it's, once it's soaked into them O-rings, you'll vape, you'll, you can taste that for the next 12 months. Yeah. It's yeah. like when you vape, um, you know, really strong flavour, you put it in a stock corn tank. Forget about putting like a, like a milder flavour in there from then on, because like I say, once it's in the O-rings and soaked into the tank, you're always going to taste it. So I watched your show the other night. What night was that? Friday night? Friday night. Although you didn't actually acknowledge any of my comments. which Oh, was, my. Like, uh, there was a little tear came. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm either thick, stupid or something. I got two. Two right. Coconut I got and toothbrush. Two? Two. Only two. Two out of ten. That's terrible, Mark. So going forward, what I'm going to be doing is using an app called Kahoot. Um, I shall message it to you. Uh, so what it is, you download the app, put a pin number in, and then you can you can have up to 200 players on one quiz. Uh, it's going to be on screen as well. So And it's like a fastest finger first. 
uh, you get you get more points for being quicker and i think it's going to be really good i ask i get to input all the questions yeah so i think it's going to be really good fun uh, we're going to have a little prize at the end of it oh, oh hang on quick i've got to say hello to tina because i'll get in trouble every week hi tina hi tina <laughs> She always what goes. Did mom, what did Mum want? <laughs> yeah, what did she want? I'm, I'm not sure if my phone survived the fall. <laughs> um, yeah, and no, I was watching, and and I I heard you mention Kahoot, and I because we were last week we had the old spin the wheel, didn't we? And and I thought, oh, is he going to spin the wheel? Is he going to use my wheel? But he didn't, and you got the the Kahoot. So I haven't heard of that. So yeah, it's good. No, it's, then, re- it? it's really, really good. So you just play it on your phone along. Like I say, you put the pin in, you'll get the questions on your phone. Boom, you got to be quick. And then it will come up on screen straight away. Who was the quickest? Who's in front? Just going to be really good, I think. Really that good is good, thing. isn't it? I'll, I'll have a look at that because I might even copy it because, you know, it's what you do, isn't it? That's <laughs> so what I do. Hey, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a leader. <laughs> hey, you didn't come up with spin the wheel. <laughs> I didn't come up with spin the wheel, and you nailed it first time as well, which astonished me. I, there was no one more surprised than me, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> is it K A H W O T? It is. I can see a lot of people using that, and I can see a lot of people downloading it to use it on not just your show, and on obviously other ones as well. So yeah, well, as 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 a host uh, to get the two hundred people in my quiz i have to pay 10 pound a month but I'm, I'm hoping to get that back in super chat so uh i will be asking for maybe a pound donation off a few people on friday just to pay for the cahoot well look, <laughs> that's I'm not jobless. too bad is it that's not too bad no it's not too bad at all um but i think it should be really really fun and yeah i think a lot of people might copy what i'm doing like, yeah i think i think they probably will because if you cast your mind back or memory back to last week i said to you you would think there would be somewhere where I can collate those names that I've got, get yeah. people to put them on a page, and obviously this is it, isn't it? This is mm. where, where you could do it. Mm. So presumably you could use that. You get to see, can you copy and paste off that list or not? Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe on the PC, maybe on my end on the PC, I think I could, yeah. So you could actually use that in conjunction with the spin the wheel mm-hmm. and put them in the wheel yep. as well. So. That was good. Uh, Gareth says, Kahoot was a laugh last time I used it. <laughs> so that was good. So, But you didn't actually use that on that night, did you? The I didn't know because I was I was ill-prepared, Mark. Um, I, I, I had the Kahoot thing you made at the time, but um, yeah, because I only put the thing up like two days before, so I thought I'd do a little tester quiz, see if people enjoyed that, and they seemed to really enjoy it. So I think the Kahoot thing is going to be mm. uh, a hoot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I think it'll be good. Uh Rick Alexander, Mark, late to the party tonight. What tank are you bashing by there? There you go. Have a have a look. I, I did don't don't let me turn it the other way. Don't tell Steve. Look, I've dropped the bloody thing. <laughs> See <at> the top. <laughs> it is the it's the Hussar one the one point five RTA. Uh there's a review of it, Rick, um on the channel. I reviewed it at the weekend so if you're interested have a look at that it's mouth to lung and it's on oh, the little... look at that look at that chip in the top there mark what have you done there huh? hang on are you, are you texting steve as we speak i've already i've already emailed him what is that can't look after anything man <laughs> i couldn't believe i couldn't believe i did i dropped it i was like oh. <laughs> so yeah whole part of what that. is that mod you using that wooden that's the little woodpecker love that Came is, from that actually, is that actually made out of wood or is it a wrap or what? That came from Austria. Uh, let me show you the... It's like a wood veneer. It is proper wood. See you later, Edward. Good to see you, Mom. It's a, a magnetic switch. There it is on the bottom of the battery. Little adjuster. I don't know if you can see the little adjuster. I can see that. Yeah, that's yeah. uh... beautifully made. So you, you just screw that in and out. And the bottom of the mod, let's take that out. Like a wood veneer, look. Proper wood veneer. That is, uh, I, must, I must admit, Mark, that looks quite sexy with the uh, Hussar on top. Yeah, it's, it's just one that I looked at this mech mod and I, I just thought, I, cause, I mean, I, I like that. You, 
wood. You can't have good good wood, aren't you, Mark? You can't. You, every man should have good wood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Without good wood, are you even a man? <laughs> <laughs> so, and I think it was Austria I had to buy it from, and uh, yeah, and I, it's one of those things when it arrived, I was just as pleased and happy as I thought I would be. So that was nice. I'm still giggling about the good wood, aren't you? <laughs> you are. You are terrible. I'm supposed to be the bad one, Mark. You're terrible, honestly. Uh, mine are just little subtle ones. Professional, Mark. <laughs> yeah. Yours are just blunt. <laughs> uh, a few people are, uh, are asking about the nest, the hera. What's the hera, Mark? Have I missed something here? No, you haven't missed the hera. You knew about the hera. Good. I'm oh, glad they've asked. The hera, yes, the... Uh... The hitter that Mark doesn't like the shape of, but he ain't tried one yet, so he doesn't know what he's talking about. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thumb firing little mob. This one's a 3D printed one, actually, before that. It's a prototype. So there's no, oh, there's a serial number on it. Tin. I think, yeah, tin. Um, these, I've now got a tracking number, guys, so they will be in any day now. So the tracking numbers are right. DHL. So... They won't be long. Actually, on that point, then I'll talk about the uh, the nest and the other. As you do when you probably don't, but when you're selling something, you think, "I wonder who else has got them." So I did a Google search. I had a look, see who else has got them. There were two other companies selling these. One of them, I think, one if not both, says they're in stock. I've asked Ambition Mods. I said, "How come they've got this?" And they said. They haven't got them. They haven't even bought them from us yet. <laughs> and I'm thinking... Drop shippers then, aren't they? Yeah. But, so, you really... It doesn't always come down to price. You really, you really have got to buy who you trust. You know, who... I often get emails, and it, they actually irritate me a bit, because I get irritate emails saying, have you actually got these in stock? And I think, well, of course I have. I don't sell anything I, I don't stock. Yeah, exactly. If it says in stock, but then site, it's, it's in stock. It's no wonder, is it? If these other sites are, are doing the snidey and saying they're in stock, and the customer has to wait like three weeks for it to be delivered. Yeah, one of the worst for that used to be, and I still get asked questions about this now in the group. UK, UK E6, E6 warehouse. I knew E6 oh, warehouse. God, like they'd have stock like three weeks before you've even seen pictures of it. You're like, how? Oh, no. Like, and then people would order it, and three weeks mm. later, they're like, we well, not turned up, like, because they're a fucking drop shipper in China. Yeah. If you'd have asked beforehand, we we could have told you that. And I I even fell for them because I thought, oh, I found it, and, and I I ordered off them one them once, and it took weeks to arrive. So, yeah. So very very misleading because they call themselves UK Seguros. Yeah. Yeah. Quite clever in a way, but I mean, one of these firms that I'm talking about, I thought, let's have a look at his reviews. Let's see what he's like. And I, I googled the company, and <laughs> it's got a. So, four, what are these Harry's going to be retailing at, Mark? Fifty-seven ninety-nine, I think they are. Eighteen six fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, in various various colours. I did have some pictures of them. I'm not sure if they're still on here. Me and Rob were talking earlier about, um, well, someone asked a question in chat, what we think is going to be uh, the next big thing. And I actually said, um, I think over the next six months, side-by-side -side mods are going to be massive. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're already popular. We, we've sold so many of the... They're quite popular, but I think now more and more manufacturers and companies, especially after the Aspire one, yeah, I've, I've been told that's not as comfortable in the hand to use, and and I think it's made well. I watched, I've seen the breakdown of it. I think, yeah, Spy will always make it a bit like Smock. They'll yeah. always put it together nicely, won't they? It's got it's got some some edges though, hasn't it? To it yeah. which it's probably yeah. not going to be as comfortable as a lot. Yeah, yeah, but I think that there's going to be others. There's going to be um, like Dicos, I think, are doing one or something, aren't they? So I, th I just think there's going to be more and more side by side mods simply because, um, you know, there's so many mounts of long tanks now. Yeah. So, yeah. There will there'll be another one soon. We'll talk about that as well, shall we? Because someone asked, um, didn't we'll, they? About, about we that? will. <laughs> hey? We will talk about that, yes. We, we will. Um, yeah. <laughs> Frustrating, really. 
raw materials, lack of raw materials, a, a bit of a delay. So, in fact, they they messaged me this morning about another week now, and I was expecting them to be sent the prototype finished, the very final product on the twenty fourth, and that didn't happen. So they're talking about another week. So you've had it, Mark, with the FP. Mm. It's frustrating as hell, um, but that's the way it, it is. is. But what do they say, Mark? It's going to be worth waiting for. Uh, it's yeah. worth the wait. It's going to be worth the wait. Worth the wait. It's going to be worth the wait. And talking of the FP, I had Blitz contact me about their new mouth to lung tank. Really? Yeah. How many do I want? I said, I haven't tried one. Oh, yeah. so, I want to try. I want to try so, one first. So, so and bought, bought loads. Yeah, but I don't care. I haven't tried one. <laughs> How can you buy something without trying it? Did, did, did they even, I take it they showed it to you? Not really. I've, they've shown me a picture, um, but it was almost like the assumption I would buy them because probably because of the FP and probably because they know I like mouth to lung. So it was just an assumption. I, I, I said, I don't stock anything I haven't tried and can hang my hat on. So... And they said, we, we haven't got a sample to send you. I said, well, I'm not buying them. You should have turned around to them and gone, look, has it got TVPs now? Well, no, <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> uh, Laurie is morning again. She's asking about the new tree trunk. She's got to go to sleep soon, so can you say something brief about it? That's exactly what I've been talking about, Laurie. <laughs> it's been delayed, Laurie. <laughs> yeah, the True Pro. It's going to be called the True Pro. Um, yeah. It's it's going to be different, and I, I think uh, I think you'll like it. I think everyone will like it. I'm hoping so. If it vapes as well as I think it will, I think we're onto a onto a good one. I'm I'm looking forward to it, Mark, because the, the the true version one was very very good. So I'm hoping you've made a couple of slight improvements and made it even better. There's, so there's more than a couple of slight improvements. Mm. I, I was to be honest, I was going to go down the route of just changing the things that weren't quite right with the mm. with the version one. I've gone against that, and I've completely changed it. The whole thing. Changed, uh, have you changed the top fill? Yeah, hundred percent. I've changed oh. the top fill. I'll, give, I'll give you a clue, Mark. The top fill, shall I? You are a very, very, very knowledgeable vapor. So I'm expecting like really, really big things here. Shall really I give big. you a clue? The top fill, Mark. Go ahead. Quarter turn. Oh, my mum. <laughs> <Man. laughs> There you go. That's all you're getting, folks. That's because that's been delayed. I'll give you a little little teaser. That's all we got. All we got was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that means everything, doesn't it? <laughs> it, does, it does. For the true tank, that means everything. <laughs> and the nest. The nest, the nest. Same, pretty much same deal, although these are, are closer than, than the sample of that. So there's the nest. I think there's juice in it. Yeah. You hope there's juice in I it. Hope. <laughs> so well, that's another one I'm looking forward to. Having having had the privilege of uh briefly seeing the deck, really, really looking forward to that as well. I'm looking forward to you trying that because I think you will appreciate it. I really mm. do. I think I think that is up your alley and I think yeah. I think you're gonna see it's just uh it's just gonna be nice. Nice to come up with something different, and it is different. I can assure everyone it is different. Is it? Is it? Is it nervous though? So you come up with something different there. Are you nervous about the feedback that's going to come? No, from I'm that? confident. Are you? Yeah. Nerves? Not even, not even slightly. No. Nervous? No, no nerves. I don't do nerves. I do. I do anger. Actually, <laughs> for anyone that thinks that I'm just really laid back and never, and never get annoyed, da 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 da. No. I when I was doing the review for for this for the Hussar, a bit like it did on the show tonight, my phone rang right in the middle of it. <laughs> oh, I've got the clip, and maybe at Christmas I will play it. <laughs> did you drop an f bomb? I think there was an f bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think there was an f bomb. <laughs> Quite a large one. 
Keep that, keep that for Christmas. Let's have a Christmas special uh, bloopers reel. <laughs> and I've, I've never done that before. In honor of, I can normally, even if a door slams, I'll talk through it and pretend it never happened. <laughs> but, but I couldn't with that. And I spoke to the guy, I phoned him back. I said, he went, you're right, mate. When well, I spoke to him, and he, I said, you weren't to know this. <laughs> I said, but when you run... But, you <laughs> arsehole. <laughs> So I, I had to put it all back in the box and, and do it oh all. Oh my god! Honestly. Do you know how many times I've done that when you when you like you've unboxed it all and then something happens and you're like fucking gotta put it all back. Gotta put the cars back in the bag. <laughs> oh my god! As Shane has put there, Shane Gibson. I'm using my easy mod with the black Pandora match made in heaven, and unlike JA's, my mom wicks. <laughs> <laughs> Someone was saying. Um, I think it was Rob said J Hayes just did the ether from Vapenborg the new Mount Long tank. Oh, did he? Have you seen that tank, Mark? I haven't. I've well I've seen a picture. I haven't seen it didn't the picture I saw, it didn't look anything radical or different to any other. But it doesn't look very Mount Long either, does it? Well that's very was, odd. No. So apparently, uh, Jay did the review and put the world's biggest fucking single coil in and then mourned that it was a bit rubbish because I don't think he knew if it was a mount along or not. Oh, right. Which is uh, very, very odd, but that's what he did with the FP, weren't it? Tried putting two four millimeter coils in. Yeah. Gareth, you're a very wise man. Do not disturb or aeroplane mode is your friend. <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> or don't have your phone on your desk when you're reviewing. Well, the trouble is because it's everything I've got is Mac. The phone rings, and like it did tonight, the PC rings as well. So oh, all, it, God. all you have to do is answer it on the PC, so you don't have to sit there like that, and you can just talk through the PC. Turn the phone <laughs> off. Turn it off. <laughs> I, I bought a pair of them earpod things the other day, and oh God. Honestly, Mark, they are the best thing I've ever bought, and I'll tell you why. We're digressing off vaping here, but that's what we do. I'm one of these people... You, you know what my other job is, don't you? I do, yes. Yeah, painless dent repair on cars. When I'm doing it, I'm in my own... That is, honestly, that is my chill time. I'm in... That would stress a lot of people, but I'm in my own little bubble, in my own little world. And when if I'm in a workshop at a garage and they've got the radio blasting on, I could literally physically smash that radio to pieces because I cannot concentrate on doing what I'm doing. If I was a car valetor or something, I'd actually quite like the radio on because you haven't got to think about what you're doing, have you? Yeah. So anyway, with these earpods, <laughs> I can noise cancel them. So even if I'm not listening to anything, just... Click the button, I hear nothing. And it is just me in my own little world. It's lovely. So you bought AirPods. Yeah. You like the world's oldest man and you, you're actually rocking AirPods. Yeah, yeah. What about yeah. that? Respect. <laughs> Where's the camera? <laughs> what about that, eh? I am that man. I look like a Spock. <laughs> no, my my kids swear by them. All three of my kids have got their AirPods. They absolutely love them. So they are they are brilliant. I I sort of hummed and hard because they're a lot of money. They're two hundred and a bit quid, I think. Yeah, not um, they're expensive. But the uh, it's the pro ones I've got. But they've got they're the ones with the noise cancel cancellation on them. So and even when you're talking to someone on the phone, you can either have it so you can hear everything going on around you or blank everything around you so you can either hear both or you can hear just the one lovely so there was an advert for apple everybody <laughs> but we don't care um oh, look, at, look at Shrek, Shrek said he's throwing loads of them airpods away left on his coach bin don't be throwing them away man really throwing them away why would you do that Surely oh, they'd, be, they'd be fucking straight in my skyrocket. Straight surely eBay, they yeah. make a good little sale on eBay, don't they? Second-hand <laughs> AirPods. I called them AirPods, didn't I? AirPods. <laughs> I, know AirPods. What, I know what I meant. <laughs> they go on your ears. <laughs> <sighs> well, Lynn called them AirPods as well. AirPods are great. Love mine. 
So, uh, actually, I've got, what's the time? Five minutes. Would you like to see a clip of a, this is about my other job, actually, what a car that I did this week. Would you like to yes. see that, Mark? A, a little before and after. Now, can I do it? That's the thing. I'll probably just come across. Are you going to put it on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, I'll watch YouTube. I'll watch the stream. So, it's, it's only a quick one. There's a dent on a roof. Everyone can see it. Look like it's been on a Starsky and Hutch. <laughs> There's a dent the other side of the aerial as well. So just to play that again for those that weren't ready for it. The dent. Well, there you go, yeah. Size of art, Jesus. Yeah, it came off a Starsky and Hutch set. No, it's a Focus ST, is what it is. Size of that dent, Mark. Looks like a body's landed on it. Yeah. And the repair, if I can find it, is there. You can see the clouds, nothing is deformed whatsoever. That was when I'd finished. So is that, is that a fully outside job or do you have to go inside, set the roof lining That's up and stuff? That's headlining out or yeah. drop down and, and do it from there. But... Do you know what the guy said? He was, <laughs> this is a trade guy, right? And he's phoned me up in a right muddle. He'd bought, bought the car from auction. And he was, can I, where are you now? Can I bring the car to you? I need to know if you can do it. I don't know whether I back the car, because I wasn't like that when I bought it. Da, 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 da. I said, no, well, I'll, I'll come and see you. See you on Monday. And that's when I did this car. It was on Monday. Uh, I said, get your mechanics to drop the head. He sent me a picture of it. I said, Tell them to drop the headline and I'll come around and do it. So and when I finished, it took me about two hours. When I finished, he walked past me. How did you get on with the focus? I said, yes, done. Look. So, so there I was working on another car. And he said, oh, that's all right, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all he said. <laughs> Ungrateful man. Gareth says Dint Devils. Yeah, very much like Dint Devils. It's the same type of thing, exactly the same. They are my competitor, but I am Dent Man. <laughs> Dent Man. Dent Man. <laughs> like, like a superhero with his pants over his over his trousers. That's me. <laughs> cool with nice repair mark. Lovely, thank you. It took me a lot of years to learn that, but that's blends in with what I was saying about these AirPods, really, that it's, you can see how I just get in my little zone, chasing this little, you know, bit of metal, and that's where yeah. I get to. So there's an insight to, to the other thing that I do, so just in case everyone thought that I do nothing but sit behind a computer and load products on a website or something, because I don't, <laughs> multi-talented. <laughs> so you're going to work all day, you come on, then you do nurture it. I do. That, and that's why I work such long hours. I'm working till 2, 3 in the morning. Mm. And I'm back up again, well, awake again, 8 o'clock. And, <clears throat> and off I go again. So, <laughs> Tina put the best. <laughs> Should have took the video width-wise. I'll do it next time. If, if anyone's interested, I'll show another one one day. But I've never really shown them before. But... Yeah, Chrissy says, are you technically anti Dintmon? I suppose I am. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Fair. You you bend them, well, I'll mend them. I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see a uniform next week with your underpants outside your, your tights. Yeah. Yeah. Anti Dintmon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, and, and that's also why people say, well, you've been out in the sun, Mark. Some, a lot of the time, you see, I'm outside working, mm. doing that. And, yeah, you do. You, you, your arms are still burnt to a crisp and you've got a ripe red sunburnt face. So You do look nicely tanned, Mark. Nicely tanned. Nicely tanned, yeah. Mm. Uh, and you must have had it as well with you know with the post, post round. Well, know, I used to, yeah. Used to. Thanks for thanks for reminding me, Mark. Oh no. Oh, is there a tip? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Any... summer, every summertime, you'd have like the world's best ton, like really, really good ton. And then as soon as summer ends, you like Casper the friendly ghost. 
Casper, <clears throat> yeah. But a lot of postmen still wear shorts even in the colder winter, don't they? So... I was I was three three six five days a year shorts. Why is that? I, I hate the trousers they provide. They're awful. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> Becca, I work for a fleet company in accident management. Do you work with fleet companies? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, I do sometimes, Becky. I work do some insurance work as well. I got. Offered a job once, hail chasing. You heard of that, Mark? That we get, get the hail storm. Oh, that's a young man's job. And they had, I think it was in Sheffield, about five, six years ago. Maybe long. No, it'd be longer than that. 2016. Yeah, yeah, 2015, 2016. They had a hail, hail storm. And it should have missed us and gone to Holland, but it, it hit us, apparently, in Sheffield. And this insurance company I do work for, they, they phoned me up and they said, uh, we've got a lot of work for you in Sheffield. Can you can you come up here? We've got This was in the July or June, I think, and they said, we've got enough work here till Christmas. Can you come oh. and do it? We've hired this big huge building and we've got all the guys there stripping all the headliners out and stuff like that all you've got to do all you've got to do is go, <laughs> take, I'll pop a few things, is you? hang on anti-dent them yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and i said no nah, i can't i can't do that i said i said i you know i've, I've got my regulars you know my trade customer i'll come back to no business you know they'd say they'd get someone else wouldn't they Oh, I said, well, we can give you a thousand quid a day. I said, eh? I was in pound a day. Yeah, honestly. And I said, no, I can't. I said, as, as attractive as, as that sounds, you'd have been there like an old tramp on chips, wouldn't you, Mark? Oh, <laughs> you know, I'd have been there like fucking super dead, man. I'd have flown there. <laughs> yeah. You'd have flown there. Um, and I, I said, no, I'll, I'll come back to know to no customers so I, no I can't appreciate the offer but I can't do it and there's only one of me I haven't got anyone working for me doing that it's just me and uh, oh, it's Liverpool I was, I was reading there so I thought someone knew something about that so then they said alright I'm authorised for 1200 she said, <laughs> said no. the answer's still no that is an enormous amount of money isn't it Mark that is like dude who owns that? Twelve hundred pound a day. Yeah, six grand a week. No overheads. All in their, all in their workhouse, like in this thing. But it's it is people think it's not hard. It is hard work. It's like it's, it's graft. It really. It's not going to be. It's not going to be easy work, is it? For six grand a week. But, uh, <laughs> no, no. Especially with, especially with your clothes on. I don't. I don't know many other jobs you can do with, yeah, with your no. clothes on doing that. But yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, Becca said, I wonder if your place is on my network. I don't know. I um, don't know. I, well, I'm Norfolk Becca, in case you didn't know, so I don't know if that applies. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, we've, we've gone over time. We're, 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 we've got a little sidetracked and and uh, and talking about, but Taxman loved you. No, they, he didn't, Gareth, because I didn't do it. I said no. <laughs> I stuck to me £34.50 a day in <laughs> Norfolk. <laughs> no, Becca says, we don't pay 1200 a day. No, that was for hail. That is completely different. I, some people, though, Mark, they uh, they chase those storms. They go to Germany. There's a lot in Germany, uh, Italy. They they just chase... The, wherever the hail storms are, these dink guys go off on Dude, coaches. I would be, I would be that guy. <laughs> Chasing hailstorms. <laughs> what do you do for a living? I chase <laughs> hail. <laughs> chase hail. <laughs> I love hail. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we've gone over time, so um <laughs> Dead Man by No Book Dancing but Hey, come on, don't do that. <laughs> Putting the dents in at night and taking them out during the day. No, don't do that. He, he has a mum for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Youth opportunities. <laughs> so you go. Just sit on that car roof and leave a card. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyway, Mark, would you like to say your good night? Uh, yes, thank you, Mark, again for having me on. Absolute pleasure. Um, love spending time with you. Thanks to everyone in chat for coming in and shooting the shit with us. And if Jer's not back next week, I'll see you next week. Lovely of you offer, Mark. Thank you very much, and I appreciate it. Pleasure. Um, yeah, ditto. As Mark says, thank you everyone in chat for all your comments. Listening to my yarns that's mainly what i've done tonight no i've just i've randomly spoke about stuff i don't normally talk about but it's all good fun all good fun it is, it is. and um mark thank you ever so much for filling in and coming on the show as you Pleasure. as you agreed to last week you're a Pleasure. star 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 you are star and uh someone in chat will see your potential and offer you maybe <laughs> not maybe not 1200 pound a day but <laughs> But uh, I reckon you could be like what they call them when you're watching a show and you're the one ribbing the bloke from the back. That's a heckler. Oh right? yes, like a yeah, like a heckler. You were born for that. Born to be a heckler, professional heckler. Yeah. <laughs> yes, shit, get off. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks to everyone in chat. Thank you, Mark. As I say, remember, stay safe, mask. Keep keep precautions on this virus. It's getting better though, but it's still out there. So until next time, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye. Yeah, wear your masks, you fucking plebs. <laughs> uh.